Amanda, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm just going to put some of your medical history in the computer. Are you feeling okay today? Yeah, just really sweating. Really? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Can I check your pulse real quick? Yeah. Amanda, your pulse is irregular. Do you have any history of any heart problems or angina? I have a history of, history of um, angina. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Will you just let me know if you're not feeling okay? Okay. I'm enter some stuff in the computer. Okay. So you do have angina. You okay? I have some chest pain today, and it's down to my arms too. Oh my goodness! How long have you been having the chest pain? Since I got here, so about ten minutes now. Kelly, Kelly, are you there? Can you get the emergency car and sure. can you alert the um? Actually, I think I, it's angina, so I might need some nitroglycerin. Okay. Okay. And Angela, are you there? Mm -hmm. Can you help me take vitals yes. for Amanda? Okay. I'm going to get some um, nitroglycerin whenever Kelly gets back. Okay. Put this under your tongue. Here you go. Amanda? Okay, no pulse. I'm sitting her back. Kelly, can you get the AED? Okay. Stop compression, Susan. Stand back. Stand by. Stand clear, everyone. Stop. Everyone clear. Do not touch patient. Stand back. Shock. Shock delivered. Provide chest compressions and rescue breath. The AD will instruct you to continue CPR for two minutes before it reanalyzes. The AD could say no shock advice, continue CPR. If the casualty shows signs of becoming responsive, place them in the recovery position. Leave the AED attached. Continue to follow the voice and or visual prompts that the machine gives you until help arrives. EMS is arriving. 